Welcome to JSA TV, where we're covering the latest stories, trends, and innovations from leaders in digital infrastructure, the channel, and the networks within. I'm Allison Whelan, coming to you live from Channel Partners 2024 here in fabulous Las Vegas, Nevada. And joining me is William Rubio, Chief Revenue Officer at Call Tower. William, thank you so much for joining us. Allison, thank you very much. It's a pleasure to be here. Of course. So for those who may not know, can you tell us a little bit about Call Tower and what sets you guys apart from other UCAS and CCAS providers? Sure, I would love to. So Call Tower has been around for about 22 years overall. Uh, we have been a unified communications as a service provider and a contact center as a service provider uh, for that time frame, moving into the cloud as the years went on and the evolution overall. But what really sets us apart is the fact that we're all about driving a solution for the customer. And it's really different. It's not really about one product, but it's actually about making sure that we have multiple different options for the customers to make sure that it's the right solution for them uh, that actually fits. Uh, so when we have a conversation with the customer, we're trying to find out what are their pin points, what are their issues that they have, how can we help them solve it with the different solutions that we have, because we know it's not a same size fits all uh, type of solution. Uh, the great thing is we're doing this pretty much globally. Uh, and we've been doing it for a while. We work a lot with our partners. That's why we're here at Channel Partners. Very excited about it overall. It's a really uh, good show for us. Uh, and, you know, technology is really changing. So we're really excited where we're going to be going to. And you just mentioned some global expansion. Yes. So I know you guys expanded Operator Connect into EMEA. Can you tell us a little bit about that? We can. You know, we're excited. We were one of the first uh, Operator Connect providers with Microsoft. We've had a great relationship with Microsoft for uh, over about 14 years overall. And uh, we've been doing Operator Connect since its inception, which was back in September of 2021, which, believe it or not, it's already almost three years old. <laughs> it's kind of <laughs> crazy. Uh, but uh, we were one of the first to actually do that and happy that now we're in about 21 countries uh, over in EMEA. And uh, Asia Pack is coming up soon. So we're going to be doing Asia Pack here in the next couple of months. But for us, we've been doing direct routing and international uh, for a lot of years. So the fact that we're just kind of moving into a different a uh, different phase with Microsoft overall is a good thing for our customers and for our partners to know that we could actually sell that. We uh, also do sell Cisco WebEx and we do also sell Zoom Phone on a global level as well. So we're in about 70 countries overall. But again, it's all about driving that solution for the customer. And Operator Connect with Microsoft Teams is definitely something that's very new. It's very innovative. And the fact that we take it and we're able to customize it for our customers and really make sure to drive a true end-to-end -end solution uh, is something that we're really excited about and the fact that we're doing it now across the globe. Yeah, and a 14-year partnership. I mean, that's incredible yes, to rely yes. on. And a lot we'll of changes all, in 14 years. <laughs> and we'll all keep an eye out for APAC coming next. And a topic that I think we've heard about at this conference, at all of the conferences in the last year, AI. Can you tell us a little bit about how that's impacting Call Tower and your solutions? Or oh, I sure can. You know, AI is uh, one of my favorite topics and a big topic <laughs> of this show. And and others, you know, the, the funny joke I make with it is when our customers call us up and they say, I want AI. And I say, great. What do you want to do with it? They're like, I don't know. I just want it. Right. <laughs> and it's kind of like the <laughs> new shiny it. toy. Right. Right? I got to have it. But they don't know what they want to do with it. Right. I think the good thing that we're able to do is we're able to explain how you can leverage AI within a UCAS or a CCAS solution. We all know that the premise based world, meaning that uh, systems and PBXs and so forth inside a customer's offices, those days are kind of down. Right. They're dying and everyone's going into the cloud. So how could you leverage AI with that? And there's a lot of different ways. First and foremost, AI is there to really help drive on the machine learning part of getting all the data. We have so much data, right. but we don't know what to do with it, right? And we don't know how to analyze it. And I think with AI, that's kind of like a step one. It kind of gets your, kind of like dipping your toe into the water to actually understand what to do with that data and then understanding what it is so that you can see where you have maybe some gaps in, in your offerings or maybe in some uh, vendor relationships that you have and so forth. So there's a lot that you could actually do there overall uh, to really kind of drive the technology. Where we're seeing uh, a big push with AI too is on the contact center side. And we're working with some of the partnerships that we have there to really drive what we call interactive virtual agents. Anybody has ever called a bank or an airline or even the hospital, you get, you know, walk home, right. calling ABC, you know, those type of things. Yes. And the fact that you could have an interactive conversation with a machine and getting the information that you want is really great. But now it's taken it to a different level that it's saying, where are the customers getting frustrated that all of a sudden there may be zeroing out to a live person, which is what right. you're trying to avoid. So with AI, you're able to go ahead and try to pinpoint where those pressure points are to actually say, wait, I'm having a bottleneck with this part of the conversation. I need to change my script. Yeah. Overall, uh, there's another thing that's called agent assist, which is really when the contact center agents are trying to read off a script and through speech analytics, different 
answers are popping up for them on their screen to really respond to the customer. But sometimes only a portion of it is relevant to the customer. So the interesting thing about that is that now it's taking those scripts and merging them together to put a live script in front of that agent that is more relevant to what the customer is asking for so that they could have a better conversation. And it's just the tip of the iceberg of what we're doing yeah. right now. It's going to get continue to get more and more interesting. Overall. Absolutely. Those are all great value adds. And I think they all circle back to AI for analytics, AI for analysis. So 100% what to do with it. Understand it is very key. Of course. <laughs> And for our viewers who aren't here and can't meet with you in person, where can they go to connect with you or to learn more about Call Tower? Uh, they could just actually go to our website over to uh, calltower.com, or they could just reach out to us at connect at calltower.com. <laughs> That's the email. We do webinars on all of the solutions and how we work with Microsoft, with Cisco and Zoom, and, and some of the contact center uh, options that we sell with as well on a monthly basis. And those are really good. We get some really good turnout and some really good subject matter experts uh, on there and uh, just go visit us and uh, we'll definitely help out any which way we can. Great. Thank you so much for joining us and thank you viewers for tuning in. Let's connect at calltower.com. Sign up for that next webinar and until next time, happy networking.